This week, we're soaring to new heights on a style venture that's simply breathless. And we're in Rob Klein's personal kitchen, and we're going to cook him an omelet. Uh, scrambled. <laughs> Welcome to Design Your Life. Style with, with Barry and Joni. I'm Joni Michaels. And I'm Barry Lance. And today it is all about a higher level of entertaining in your home. Yes, and we're going to raise the bar to a higher level in the very own kitchen of our style pro, Rob Klein. That's right. He knows a thing or two about designing a great functional yeah. kitchen. Yes. Raising the height because he's also very tall. Yes, he is yes. our tallest style pro. That's right. That's right. And you've got some cool things to talk about with tablescaping. We do. We're going to show you how to do your very own story table and also set a table for entertaining and actually how to hang pictures appropriately. And I know how you love the swag, the freebies. So we've got a great ticket way coming up at the end of the show. But you know what I did recently? What did you do? I went to a higher level. A higher level you. Mm -hmm. What and did you do? Just no, climb a ladder? No, I did not. No? No. no. You know, I, but I'm not afraid of heights, and it's a good thing because okay. I went skydiving for the oh, first time. Wow, I've always wanted to do it. I went to Jerry's Skydiving Circus in Franklin, Indiana. Uh -huh. Fabulous place, and actually I did the tandem jump, so I had an instructor oh. with me. Okay, so wow. he was right on my back the whole time. Okay. I did a 45-minute training video. Okay. It was the most exhilarating experience oh, I've ever had. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh and my you gosh. just fall. Free, it really free fall, right? You, for about 35 seconds. Okay. Um, our jump was at about 10,500 feet. And it was just, it, it's so peaceful. And that 35 seconds feels like it's minutes. It truly does. It does. It seems like it's all over so quickly. Not only is our style pro Rob Klein uh -huh. a it, great kitchen designer, but look Rob. at that. Yeah, he's a jumper. Rob, he's a, he's jumper. a skydiver. Wow. So he's even done this. <laughs> Several times. Okay, maybe the two of you could take me. He, he's an accomplished skydiver. Push I'm him. a novice. Did you have breakfast before you did that jump? No, I try not to eat before I jump at 10,000 feet. No, probably not. <laughs> but while we're here at Rob's own personal kitchen, I thought I'd make Rob a, a, an omelet. Yeah, what do you and think? I think you need an apron. Our oh, friend yeah. Kim's cookies and cupcakes. She's got okay. the best apron, so here, I'll tie hey, you up. Tie me up. All right. <laughs> So what are you making for us? A berry riffic omelet? It's a berry riffic omelet, yes. And it's pretty simple. I've got it, I've got it started here for us. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I put lots of butter because it's better with butter. What anybody says, you have to put butter in there. Then I always do a three egg, three egg omelet and I start cooking it very slowly. So if you want to hand me the mm -hmm. ham. Okay, nice ham. diced ham there. Diced ham mm. and you just artfully and very you know, creatively. Everything looks beautiful. You know, everything, the way you have this table set, everything from the fruit, um, you've got the watermelon there. Mm -hmm. uh, just lots of cheese, cheese Lots please. of cheese. Everybody that knows me knows butter and cheese. And then what kind of cheeses? Uh, I use a little cheddar. This and is a cheddar and this is a Swiss. French Swiss. Ooh, nice. And see how that's bubbling real slowly? And look, at, and I also think this is beautiful, Barry, where you actually, you've got the the ham, the sliced ham. Yeah, you know, while you're cooking, make it pretty. Oh, exactly. Right. Here, do you need, you need any? So I'm just gonna put a little spinach. Or... No, that's just for pretty. Okay, <laughs> what about the almonds? The almonds are just a nice little touch Aww, on the table. See, everything I try to put in the omelet, <laughs> your, your name's yeah. saying it. Yeah, see, I don't, put the om <laughs> I don't put the omelets, or the almonds in the omelet. <laughs> but I, you know, I'm gonna put those on the plate for Rob. Mm. He's kind of nutty. I think he's gonna so. like this. You know, and this is a, functional kitchen. It's great for entertaining. You can cook in it and you can get several people involved in cooking. Right. Okay, Joni, here's the flip. You just... Flip is important. The spatula is really important and you just very gently... Fold it. Fold. Oh, I wish we had smell vision at home. Guys, smell vision? We should invent that for the show. It's going to be to die for. See, I, I just... Then I turn it all off. Okay. okay. So you turn everything off. And I off. just let it finish simmering and cooking on its mm -hmm. own. So... Then. And I remember growing up, we used to cook in the kitchen. It was kind of like a family affair. You know, everybody's got their little job. And I think that, you know, when you, when you have a home, the kitchen, you really want to make sure it's functional and it fits your lifestyle. Okay, so as it sits like that, then the cheese continues to melt. Okay, uh, so everybody, the, the berry ific omelet. The 
hub of the house is the kitchen, and we have our style pro Rob Klein with us of Rob's Conceptual Kitchen, and we are in his very own home. Yep, we invaded. We're, we invaded. We're kind of like that. We made you an omelet. You have to try it. <laughs> And, Thank then we you. Have, and then we have questions for you. Joni, did you try this? I did not, but love this kitchen, and I, I, we were thrilled, I mean, to be... Th this is like you're in an industrial kitchen, right, Barry? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, uh, the home is beautiful, and I, I think the main question really comes down to how do you get a kitchen right? I start with the appliances and the placement of those appliances. So we talk about how we want it to function, how you entertain, and what kinds of appliances you need to support that entertainment. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where we start. I love this. I love the stainless steel. Oh, thank you. Lots of stainless steel influence in the kitchen, I think, is really great. And it's a good way to bring kind of a commercial kitchen into a residential setting. Correct. Right. And you, there's so much stainless steel in appliances. Mm -hmm. If you if you kind of put those stainless steel in other areas, it kind of offsets the design a little bit, mm -hmm. gives you a, a really sophisticated feel. Mm -hmm. What was going through your mind with uh, the appliance design for your kitchen? I wanted to have dual cooking zones. So we have a, a prep zone and then a cooking zone so that we didn't overlap while we were entertaining. Because a lot of times when we entertain, we're, we're cooking as we're entertaining. Mm -hmm. And so we really wanted to kind of have that flexibility with the space. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and I hear that your wife was very pleased with it. She was. <laughs> yes. Well, that would be important. Yeah. That's yes. definitely important. And what about some of the other criteria? Well, the last criteria that I really focus on is just completing the room as a completed design space and making sure that each individual little um, layered design element is, mm -hmm. is included. Mm -hmm. And when you layer those design elements in, as subtle as they are, they get really, it's a really sophisticated composition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this kitchen has great balance. I, you know, it just balances really well. Yeah, so the, oh, space, the space feels good. Yeah. And this has been uh, used nationally in publications, right? It has. It, it, is, it is a little bit famous. Oh, <laughs> famous is good. We're in Rob's famous, famous kitchen. Is good. And you know what? You can see famous Rob at Rob's Conceptual Kitchens at the Indiana Design Center. Cool, classic, contemporary, understated, those are just some of the adjectives that come to mind when I think houseworks. And our style pro, Ed Scheich, is with us. Good to see you. Good to see you. And I pretty much think I said it like it is. Joni always says it like it is, and it's true. All those adjectives about your store are right on. Well, I appreciate that. Now, I understand that you, we've talked a little bit, of course, uh, a little bit earlier, you pretty much travel all around the world to find some of the furniture that's in your place. We do. We look, we look literally at the entire world and try to find the best product that's available in modern aesthetics. And quality is very important to us as well as the customer service we provide. Mm -hmm. Do you have some favorite places around the world that you've been? I mean, well, you know, we, like we, your kind of maybe go-to countries? <laughs> we do the Milan show in Italy. Uh, we've been to the Germany show in Munich. We buy things from Denmark. What, uh, what are you looking for when you, when you go to these shows? Well, we look for things that are understated, elegant, mm -hmm. sophisticated, but most importantly, quality and functionality. I and think timeless. And timeless. I mean, there's, timeless there's a timeless modern, and then there is a, what I call, tacky modern, which is, you know, <laughs> uh, tacky is just one step off of trendy. So, you, right. you know, your modern is elegant, and it's beautiful, and it's long-lasting. Yeah, I think it's important to define modern as timeless, and contemporary mm -hmm. is the short shelf life, here today, gone tomorrow type mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Well, ob obviously mm -hmm. you're doing the right thing. I mean, well, I've been in business almost 30 years now. We're ready to celebrate soon our 30th anniversary. Well, thank you. 30 years. Mm -hmm. So you opened when you were five? Is that right? <laughs> hey, they've made it longer than a lot of marriages. I, 30 that's years true. is something in business. That's true. Isn't it? No, We've it's... had employees almost there that long. Wow, that's cool. So well, it has been like a marriage. And Ed, yeah. you're, you're so kind because uh, you've offered uh, style with Barry and Joni viewers uh, a special discount when they come in the store and they buy. We do. If you mention Barry and Joni when you come into the store, we give you an additional 10% off of your purchase. Hey, you right. can't beat that, right? right? Even, okay. even we can save you money. <laughs> Ed Scheich, everybody with Houseworks, go in, visit them here on the northeast side, just off of Allisonville Road in 465.
I wish I drew that, but I can't lie. Right, if you're wondering if this is a Barry Lance original, it most definitely is. Barry, I love this piece. It's pretty, isn't it? Looks nice. very modern. Mm -hmm. uh, just, I, I love the colors. What it's do you? It's a traditional landscape with a modern twist. Okay. How about that? I wanted to pretend mm -hmm. like I painted it, but no, I must, no. I must give the brush to the Give master. me the brush. You know what the name of this is, Joni? No, and I know you title all of your pieces, mm -hmm. so what do you call this? What would you guess, just because it's red and green, something to do with... The holidays. Yes. Am I close? Yes. It's called, the, it's called North Pole. Nor I was close. Yeah, it's, it's sort of a holiday piece you can bring out when you put up the tree. Love it. Yeah. And you know, this mm. is a modern piece, but on the wall, you know, I'm seeing a mix of some different styles. So mm -hmm. how would you take something modern and style this? Can we style this? I think we can. I love it when she asks me to style this. <laughs> okay, oh, let's so, get to the wall. Well, specifically, Joni, you can style this by using a lot of different styles of artwork. We have something really modern in the middle and more modern on either side, actually. And then we have some classic um, line drawings of architectural pieces. And then there's even a painting, which I would just call very traditional in there. And it looks like, what, what do you have, a couple of pairs going on, and then... Well, that's really good that you caught that. <laughs> I'm so impressed. I've been hanging out with you so long. Right, we have uh, two pairs of pairs up there, and we have one big piece, and then we have two singles. So that makes the, you know, the collaboration of all those geometric shapes more it makes interesting. It interesting. Yeah, right, right, right. right. And you, then what about frames? How do you feel it? Do things need to be mixy matchy? Well, I mean, you know, every um, every situation is different, but I like the mix here because we have gilded frames, we have the basic black frame on the contemporary piece and something really wide over there to the right side in that, you know, the traditional painting. So, yeah, I like to mix up the frames. It makes it more eclectic. Interesting. 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 Right. Definitely. Right. Well, if you'd like to get more mm. Style This tips, you're in luck. All you have to do is visit our website, stylewithbarryandjoni.com. All kinds of interesting style tips. More than you'd ever want to know. LED lighting for the kitchen, it's a bright idea. And Jeremy Konechny with Ferguson is here. Uh, when you told us about this, I was amazed. I have never heard of this. I mean, for the kitchen, mm -hmm. for lighting a kitchen it's, or anything, I guess. It's a great new product. It's definitely a big trend. Um, so what this is, is this is LED tape light. Um, and what's great about this is that the old school uh, large modules are no longer. Mm -hmm. um, what's like, nice you mean like hockey pucks? Hockey pucks. Hockey pucks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and basically what's great about this stuff is it's, it's cuttable, so you make it to whatever length you want. And basically you just tape it into wherever you need it. Um, hook it up to a transformer and you plug it in. I love this. And oh my gosh. We were, you were talking about different uses for it. Like Barry, you said like on the staircase. Um, would, stair steps mm -hmm. or stair under steps. the toe kick mm -hmm. of cabinets. Mm -hmm. I mean, wow. it can be uh, it's, it can be water rated, so you can use it in pools. Uh, Love comes that. in a variety of colors, um, and this is Kitchler product, which is an amazing product overall. So these tiny little things put out as much light as. Give me a comparison. I mean, it's it's going to put out as much light, if not more, than your standard under cabinet lighting. Wow. Um, what really is nice about this is you don't have the modules anymore, so you don't have shadows. It creates just an overall nice what about ambience. No transformers or no boxes? And there are transformers, there's just no boxes that are hardwired into. That are so hardwired. as long as you have a plug, anybody can install this. And look at right. the ease of it. I mean, basically you peel, cut, and light. Mm -hmm. I mean, Peel and stick. Yep. <laughs> Light and stick. I can see your eyes turning now. You're thinking Christmas. You know, I'm he's thinking, thinking like Christmas colors. trees. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, you could outline your house with this stuff at Christmas. <laughs> mm -hmm. It would be unbelievable. Yep. So we can get this at Ferguson. Yeah. You definitely can. Right. Innovative lighting, really, at Ferguson. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, I we urge you to go into Ferguson. I mean, they just have outstanding service. Phenomenal products, and um, Jeremy's always um, bringing us something cool, and I'm sure next time we talk to you, even more trends, right? We definitely will. Sometimes we all need a little help when it comes to adding extra color and texture in the home, your lifestyle. That's when you call an interior designer. Kern Palmer of Interior Designs joins us again. Good to see you. Thank you one of our style pros that we just love to have on the show. Um, give us an idea of 
your customer contact and how, how you work your process. Glad to. My clientele call me, Joni. I come into your home. I'm what we call shop at home. I bring my products into you, mm -hmm. which is my fabrics, my Hunter Douglas samples. I sit down and I listen to you, Joni. I listen to how you want your windows to function, whether it's shutters or if it's a roller shade like we have behind us mm -hmm. or if it's a, a woven woods. Um, I do the measuring. Then I have wonderful installers that bring everything out to you and install it. So you're totally responsible. So people don't have to try to measure themselves and put it up themselves and it doesn't fit. Shh, don't tell them what I do. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, you bring all these beautiful samples to their house. So it really makes it easy. And I would think really relaxing for the purchaser. Yes, right? yes, we do mm -hmm. make it easy for the clientele. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. And you brought some beautiful examples here mm -hmm. today. Beautiful oh, blues. Oh, what's catching your eye, Barry? I love all these blues. Yeah. Love these blues. And I They're like beautiful. the way I've seen you add and do shades of different kinds rather than, you know, doing two inch blinds all the way through the house. Kern is really good about layering them with different kinds of shades. Yes. And I think that's really important yes. too. Yes, that's what makes it so interesting. Mm -hmm. There's so many things that we can do. So mm -hmm. many things we can do. And really, unless they talk to people like you and like me, they people don't really know what's out there. And you know what, Barry? It's window fashion. Right. It's oh, window fashion. I like that. It's not just covering a window. And tell right. our friends at home how they can come see you and get a nice deal on the window fashion. If you mention Barry or Joni, it's 20% discount. Ah, wow. Does it get any better than that? Wow. I'm a bargain. We're taking floral arrangements to new heights with another style this. Very for you. Oh, flowers for me. Nobody ever gives me flowers. Well, aren't you a lucky guy? And except you. <laughs> except you. Thank you, Joni. Aren't these beautiful? I love it. I love the delicate pink. And then you're popping with the yellow. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful for summer and to fall any time of the year. Right. And our friends at Fresh Market provided these beautiful flowers. You know, I go there all the time for flowers. They have the most beautiful collection of different flowers that are And colorful. great service. Great service. So, Joni, I bought all these flowers, and I liked what you said about elevation, mm -hmm. taking this to new heights. So if you use a one taller vase or a vessel, that's mm -hmm. called a trumpet vase, okay. and build this up very high, then you can drop way down low with more like this orb vase. How interesting to look at. Yeah, I mean, it's you pretty know, that way. Your eye just kind of it follows the line. Right, it's real easy to do this. Make it easier by, in the bottom of that vase, see that? That looks mm -hmm. like ice. Yeah, it does. And instead of those glass marbles that everybody uses, when you come home, you just take this cellophane paper and you squish it down there in the bottom of that vase to build up the stems, and it looks really pretty, doesn't it? I love it? it. Well, and not only that, you're using everything that you purchased. Everything. <laughs> everything that you purchased. Everything. Use it all. So, yeah, the raising it to new heights and make it really easy. Flower arranging doesn't have to be contrived and difficult. So this doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, matchy, matchy. No, you just, I've got three kinds of flowers. I cut the stems, and then I simply, they are just dropped in these. They're, yeah. they're not, they're not fussed, bust around or anything. Yeah, you just kind of jush just, them up. Jush them up. It's loose and casual and simply elegant. I love it. Well, you know what I do when I get a flower? What? He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. If you want uh, more style tips, visit stylewithbarryandjoni.com. We have all kinds of fun and interesting style this tips for you. Style Pro John McKenzie of the McKenzie Collection. Make yourself at home. What a great motto. And John, what does that mean to you? Make yourself at home to me means I want my customers to feel like they're coming home, that they're coming in and being a part of our family and our team and to feel welcome. Secondly, I want them to know that they're a part of the process, that we want them to engage and help us as we go through the process of building their home. They're a part of our team. And lastly, I want them to know it's about their home. It's their dream that we're striving to create. So we're, we want the focus to be on them and what they want and what their lifestyle needs are. Make yourself at home. Visit John McKenzie at McKenzieCollection.com. Go ahead, style this. Okay, Clint, I will. Clint likes style even, so I'm gonna show Clint, Dirty Harry, how to do a story table, or what is commonly known as a tablescape. Tablescapes are a story or design and collection of things that reflect your family, your friends, 
and the things that you're interested in. And while books are great for reading, they're also great for display. And you can take books and build different levels off of a flat table to, you know, to get your accessories raised and lowered to make it even more interesting. So I'm going to take a stack of books and put up here at the front of the table. And then I've collected some things for my client here um, that they like. They love architecture and they love old pieces of architecture from old buildings and fragments. So we had some of these put on these iron stands to show this collection of architectural pieces. The glass piece on, the, uh, on my left is a hand-blown piece. They love glass and they love the art of art glass. So we'll put that there. And then I always say that on a story table or tablescape, it's important to have some clear glass because the light hits that glass and the, the light refractions are very pretty. So if we just add a few more things, I'm going to get a few more books and put up here. This is a great way to bring conversation into entertaining because your friends will come in and they'll say, oh, you like Clint Eastwood too, or you've traveled there, I've been there. Here's another fragment. It's always very pretty and soft to do, use some soft textures of some flowers or greenery to put up here. And I'm gonna bring this orchid back over here. So again, a story table or a tablescape in one's home is really inviting and, and it really shows your personality and your style. Well, Joni, it's good to be back with our pal Deborah Dorman and our yes, style indeed. pro about real estate and Deb, Deborah. Are, are you Deborah. tweeting again? Oh. Tweeting, twittering, and guess what? Trending. The three T's, Twitter, uh, Tweet, Trend, try to I say that. I say that one. <laughs> so today, I'm trending in real estate. And guess what? The number one trend that I'm bringing to you today is? What? Going green. The whole world is going, going green. green. <laughs> Kermit would love that. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we're going green because you know what? We want energy efficient, eco-friendly homes. And that's what we are all about in today's world. And especially you, Barry, you should know all about that. More natural fabrics and fibers, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We don't need green on the runway as much, or we don't need mm -hmm. green on the walls, but we need green in your house. And it's about supporting local, right? Absolutely. We want to support all our local vendors. Vendors. We want to buy all our products from them. Mm -hmm. Not only do we want to do that, we want to reduce, we want to recycle, and we want to really give it all back. And we want to make these homes of today the absolute perfect globally green home it can possibly be. Now, do you have quite a few of these homes? Well, I think everyone's taking an active interest. You can be a home builder like Joe Garcia, or you can actually go in and remodel a home mm -hmm. like a lot of people do today, like a lot of builders. But you know what? One of the coolest things is that I have found is and my favorite thing is what's that rainwater recycling your oh, sure. rainwater into tanks oh sure sure a lot of people <laughs> did that charles ingles did it on little house on the prairie he rainwater did. comes oh yeah and he recycled he the was water. such a pioneer he was. absolutely <laughs> and you know what it's not a difficult thing to do it might cost a little bit more in the beginning but in the long run, it's all energy savings. Right. And Share low your cost. showcase with us for this week. Okay, so today I brought 1714 North Delaware to you. I'm blending, I'm mixing the old and the, and the new. new right. I took a stroll down Delaware, North Delaware, and guess what? It's where my family all grew up. Oh, That's neat. Great. This particular home is in the 1900s. It's about a 2,700 square foot home, and guess what? It's got a double decker porch on it. Close to everything. Is that the wow factor? It's the wow factor. Okay. So if you're interested in that and and the tweeting and the twittering and just being on trend, and you the need twending. to contact Deborah Dorman Sotheby's. Well, Joni, we have had a great time at our Style Pro yeah. Rob Klein's own kitchen. And before we go, Rob. I want you to talk to us about what we call a beverage center, right? Right, right. behind us. So here I have um, refrigeration, um, mm -hmm. and then I have a speed oven, mm -hmm. a coffee maker, and then there is a built-in wine unit over there. So they're all kind of concealed. So this is all one area where if you're having a party or for family living, all the beverages are sort of on this side of the kitchen, mm -hmm. and I like the way 
this happens, you can even close this door down a little bit. And this is called what? It's a timbre. A timbre. So this goes all the way down, but we're not going to take it all the way down right now. Well, and it's nice because if you are entertaining, you know, sometimes you don't want to see everything that you're using. Right. So it keeps things a little sleeker, right? And this would be one of my favorite places, right? Oh, uh, I should have known. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah. So, and then, then these nice even wine collection there. these even pull out, so you can go from water to wine, all at one party or one day. <laughs> and the kids, you were telling me, the kids sit on this part of the kitchen, so everything Correct. that they need is here except except for the, for the wine. wine. Except for the wine. Okay. Okay. Well, I love the um, the use of the stainless steel, which you've taken all the way through the kitchen, and you know with the trim. And Joni, you liked this wood color, right? Uh, also not that rough. Yeah. It, it's a white oak with an obsidian stain, and probably one of the neatest features about the finish is that it is really flat as far as it's not a lot of sheen to it, so you get to enjoy the, the grain of the wood. Well, it wouldn't mark up so easily. Correct. You know, like a, a glossy cabinet. So do you, is a beverage center something that is considered a trend now with kitchens? Absolutely, and it's just a way to design in um, where the kids can have a purpose. So this is kind of for them, and then it keeps them in a singular space, whereas when we're entertaining and, we, and we're cooking, things like that, they, we don't overlap. Well, Rob's a designer, everybody. Don't know, you actually sit down and you, what, you hand draw everything, right? Hand draw everything. It's amazing. Right in front of the clients. So uh, you need to go in, have a consultation with Rob, and take your kitchen to a higher level. And uh, you can check out Rob's Conceptual Kitchens at the Indiana Design Center. And he might even... I don't know. You are not taking his what, Rob. You can't okay. take him anywhere. Hey, style fans. Make yourself at home with McKenzie Collection. We have over 25 years of building custom homes. Contact me on our website for a free consultation and mention Design Your Lifestyle with Barry and Joni, and I'll bring a special gift just for you. You know, sometimes it's just good to get outside and into the sticks. Or in the front yard. A front yard is always good, and this front yard will soon be turning beautiful fall colors, and we're going to talk about that next week. And if you'd like to win tickets to the Idle George Museum, one of our favorites for American and Western Indian art, Quest for the West is going on a great exhibit. Check out our Facebook page right now. We're going to give those tickets away next Wednesday. Like us, share the post, and you're going to go to the Idle George Museum. It's been a fun week. It's been a great week as always. Join us next time on Design Your Life. Style, Style with Barry and Joni. Sundays at 1130 right here on RTV6. Oh.